Welcome back to Dominion with Dean. Today we are going to do filtering and tagging of assets um, using both the catalog tags panel and the properties panel. So before we jump into it, I just want to point out how the filtering system works by flipping through a couple of these folders and just showing you um, how to activate and deactivate filters. So as you can see, this is a structure, a folder structure of uh, my images that I've got stored in a shared folder. So as you can see, the, the structure is mirrored um, exactly as it is on the disk over here um, in Dominion. So you'll notice that next to each one of the tags, there's a, a radio button. Now this radio button has got a couple of different states. So you'll see that if I give it a single left click, you'll see a large green dot, which means um, the same as you would, you know, uh, select this item from the context menu, show everything in that folder. Okay, now you'll notice that if a tag has sub tags, for instance, in this, in this case, you'll see that it indicates that there are 92 um, items in all the subfolders. And if you add these numbers up, you'll get 92. So if I select on that 92, it's also virtually the same as going show files with bars and clubs. And that includes everything with the sub tags. Now, there are different options that you can use. Um, for example, if I only wanted to see images that are in bars and clubs, but none of the images that are listed in the subfolders, in this case, I don't actually have anything in that folder. So you see there's a zero before the forward slash. So if I hold in my shift key and I select, you'll see that there's a smaller green dot that appears in there and uh, of course there's nothing in that folder so it won't show you anything and then also the reverse is is true if I want to show if I want to exclude bars and clubs and all the subfolders and show beach commercial and residential and all the items contained in their subfolders and um, first let me just deselect that and I hold down my alt key you'll see that I get a large red dot, which means this is now showing me all the images that are contained in these subfolders here, excluding these. And for example, the same if I hold my Alt and Shift key, let me just deselect that. If I hold my Alt and Shift key, it'll exclude only the items in bars and clubs, and then it'll give me a small red dot. So you see there's nothing in in, in there's no full files in bars and clubs only so it will show me virtually my entire database but if I had for example a contact sheet or a descriptive PDF document in this folder I could choose to exclude that right now all the tag systems in all of these different groups work exactly in the same manner and we're going to employ this now when we start tagging our images so first what I want to do is I want to create a couple of categories just to indicate the large groups of files. As you can see here, I've got images of bars and nightclubs, I've got images of beach houses, I've got images of commercial properties, and then I've got images of residential houses, suburban houses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down. First, let me just switch to a more manageable preset, which is my general um, preset. The first thing I'm going to do is create my categories. Um, you create that by right clicking on the actual group, selecting add tag, and I'm going to create one called location images, and then again selecting location images, and add tag inside location images, bars and clubs. And then to select all my images from bars and clubs, which is the 92 that are in that group. Now I can press Control A to select all, or I can use the edit menu and select all. And then it's a simple matter of just taking the assets and dropping them onto the tag. And there you'll see the assignment going. And I'm going to repeat this process for 
my next two categories which is going to be the houses so I'm going to select beach hold my control key select residential take all of the images by selecting control a creating a new category inside location images I'm going to call this residential now I can press alt enter to do the assignment of tags while I'm creating the category or I can select the handy checkbox there and click create so let's do alt and enter and you'll see it assigns as it creates the tags very good so let's move on to the last one which is commercial right click on location images add tag inside location images and call that commercial and alt enter there we go all our categories are created right so next we're going to move on to using our properties panel to assign tags and I'm going to create a couple of keywords now um, let's call this room types and inside room types I'm going to create for example bedroom and bathroom and now we're going to scan through our suburban houses let's start with um, the first one chestnut and we're going to identify images of the bedroom as we scroll through them so let's just go down through the list and we see there we have bedroom these are all bathrooms there's another two of the bedroom here we go so I'm just holding my control key and scanning through them and selecting all the images that are applicable and that's living room kitchen terrace lobby right there we go so we've identified six images and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my properties panel I'm going to click inside the keywords text box and I'm going to start typing bedroom and as you can see autocomplete finds it there for me and it also tells me that bedroom is located in room type so I can just click there and when I put my mouse over you can see it gives me the exact location of where the keyword is right and now you see there's two options on this list which is save and go to next item which I can deactivate and just have save or I can select it again and go save and, and go to next item so I'm just gonna leave it at the usual save because we not really approaching it in a linear fashion from one to the next we more or less jumping between different groups and then I'm gonna click save and now if we scroll down here you can see our bedroom tags six images selected okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to exclude the images that we've already tagged by using the methodology that we discussed earlier so I'm going to hold my control key and my alt key and I'm going to go to bedroom and I'm going to exclude and you can see it already gives me a preview tells me of the 109 when I exclude bedrooms I'm going to be left with 103 okay so I'm going to hit that and now we know we're not going to find any images of those bedrooms in there so let's move on to the next one bathrooms I remember seeing a few of those down here there we go that's all bathroom some more lobby landing living room kitchen there we go terrace I mean, there we go that's uh, that looks like another one of the bathroom right and then again I'm going to type in here bathroom select it and click on save 
Right, and now we can repeat this process again by holding Ctrl and Alt. And when we exclude bathrooms as well, we'll see that there'll be 96 left. Right, so let's just recap again what we've covered. We've covered how uh, the radio buttons work for filtering. We've covered uh, tagging images by either selecting images and then dropping them onto the specific tags or by right-clicking on tags and assigning them to specific items. Also note that we can select multiple tags and assign selected tags to selected items. And then the process works exactly the same by selecting images and then entering any one of these fields to assign values. Afterwards, we select the Save button. Thank you very much for watching.